Hello and welcome to the highlights of day two of the Super 8s uh, and they'll be very keen to repeat that today. Our first match is going to be a good one. It's between India and Sri Lanka. Let's pick up the action. Well, that's a lovely shot. Beautifully cut away over this outfield, which is heavy. You can see how well that one was timed. It really went uh, to the fence for four. Well, he's a good player, Sanjay Manjweka. And when he comes into bat in such a positive frame of mind, he looks very, very good indeed. Oh, good shot. He's hit that one way over the top. Will it go all the way? I think it has. Yes, that's an eight. The first one of the day over the top of the long on boundary. Oh, and uh, it went all that way because of wonderful timing. Six there. Oh, as he hits that one high in the air, will this one be caught? It's going to be a good catch if it is. Got him. Yes, that's very well taken. I think this was a good one. Well, Manjrika continuing on with that attacking attitude, but he got a little too much height into this rather than the length. He would have been happier with the length. The height allowed uh, the fielder to get under it, just that catch to perfection. That is how catches should be taken over your shoulder, keeping your eyes on the ball at all. Got it. Oh, yes, got him on the second take. That's very well taken. Good catch, actually. Yeah, that is, That's uh, the captain in there, Vic uh, Ramar. I've suffered because of not having too much of the strike. You can see over here, it's more a head up in the air shot. He hasn't had too much of the strike, but he knows that he's got to get a move on. That's what he's tried to do, but he's failed, and India have lost their second. Hold him, played across it, and back goes middle stump. Very good delivery. Kodakara right on the spot, the right line and more importantly the right length. Most successful yesterday was a tight line on middle and leg stump and well pitched up in fact Yorkers and that's exactly what that delivery was. So India lose their third wicket, 53 runs on the board. Uh, looking to go over the top, this is a very good shot, will it go all the way? And look for the umpire and the signal, he may get a bit of help from the fielder. Yes, up go the hands. That's an eight. So Gavaska finishes. Raiders was Roger Harper. Oh, that could be very close indeed. And yes, it is close. Just putting the front pad down the line of the delivery and offering half a shot. And uh, umpire thought about it for just a short space in time and up went the finger. Yes, yeah, flirting with that leg stump line. The ball must pitch in line with the stumps. And the score I think it's done that, gone straight on and uh, not too much trouble there, giving that decision. Clearly the ball was going on to hit the stumps. The batsman wasn't that far forward and a pretty easy decision for the umpire to give. So India now 72 for four. On the charge and that's a big eight. Don't worry about where that one uh, is going to end up. That's well and truly over the boundary rope. Room. But just a, a little bit shorter delivery there. Still a full length ball, but just enough room for Gavaska to hit through the line and way over long on for a very tight field that he's bowling to. This time he's got underneath it again. And will this carry all the way? I think it will. Yes, that's eight more. What a great over this is turning out to be for India. Aware of those two fieldsmen back on the boundary, but. Uh, they're no use to Sri Lanka when the balls go over their heads. It's two very nice clean hits over long on for eight. And swinging away this time a lot flatter behind square. And uh, that's a magnificent shot for four. And a tremendous over for India comes to an end. And after ten, they're up to 98 for four. Yeah, what a catch. Well, you don't see any better catches than that. We talked about some brilliant outfielding yesterday, but that is the best catch that we've seen in the infield in the two days. Unbelievable. Uh, that's the uh, captain there, uh, Vikram Aratna. Have a look at it. Oh, wonderful. Well, that will go in our classic package, that's for sure. Up she goes, and uh, it's catches like that that very definitely win matches. So, young Gawaska has played really well. The leg stump, like that, and a whack it over mid-off. And it could be caught at cover point. Yes, it is. So a comfortable catch at cover point on the fence. Nine. Made just six. And, uh, yes, I don't think he had any option, really. He had to go for it. Uh, that was an, an attempt at hitting a six over extra cover. And, uh, of course, it hovered up there for quite a long time and was nicely taken. 
So Ajit Avgarkar out uh, caught by Gunawadina. And so it's now 109 for six. That's what's happened so far. And those wides are each worth two runs. And he's going to get a wicket. Straight down a long off and a very good catch by Runjit. Yeah, so Kieran Morag can really wind up here. See if he can uh, hit this one out the ground. Reasonable delivery will uh, look for two of the batsmen. They should, the last ball, but they haven't. And now they will because the ball hit the stumps and luck for the Indian batsman. Disappointing for Sri Lanka, but India the the equally high. Ball. So uh, can Sri Lanka, 129, they need to win. We'll see now. Ganesh the bowler. Okay. And straight away in the air will be a wicket. Gavaskar under it. Takes the simplest of catches and the perfect and start. Indy guys out. Indy out caught. Ah, what? A misunderstanding here. And a mad flurry back at the keeper's end. Safety. Now once again, the appeal distracting the batsman a little bit. Uh, and if the throw had been spot on, the batsman would have been struggling. Dada Ganesh in his third, and which will be his final over of this innings. Bold him. Back goes off stump. Disa Ram, the keeper batsman, looking to force away in desperation. Well, the good line, Dada Ganesh. Uh, this one was the slower one. Mixed it up well because he knew that the batsmen were trying to go for the big hits, deceiving the batsman completely with that slow delivery. Knocking back the off stump. Disa Ram is out. Sri Lanka 35 for two. And he's hooked that over towards backwards squarely. Man running in from deep on the fence and has got it. Lovely catch. Well, that's a very hard catch to take that, where you're running in virtually at full pace and then coming forward to still have to take the catch low to the ground. It's a very difficult catch to take. You've got to keep your hands and your elbows very soft. Give it the ball. You've then got the problem of uh, landing and the ball not bouncing out. A super catch that from Gavaskar. Sri Lanka lose their third wicket now. The score is 39. Dada gets the outside edge, courtesy of a cut shot, but goes past the wicket keeper. And it may in fact go all the way, no third man in place. And just reached the boundary line. And Draker can't to cut it off. Kantikar, the new bowler for India. And they won't get it by playing shots like that. So, clean bold, trying to give himself some room. Just smash the ball through the offside unsuccessfully. And Gunawanadini goes bold. Gunawanadini. Nowhere near the ball. It's uh, one thing to improvise in Super 8s, but I think it can be overdone as well. And uh, sometimes some more traditional cricket shots would do you a lot better. So Sri Lanka are now 49 for four. So punched towards backward point. It may in fact go to the boundary. So well was the time. To, to... And what a brilliant catch. We've seen some great catches, but I don't think we've seen any better catch than that. We saw a beauty earlier in the day. But what a beautiful catch. And you don't see them any better than that. A one-hander. And that is brilliant. That ball kept going away uh, looks like from the fieldsman there not only was it well to his right to start with it moved in the air away from him and uh, a full length dive just pulled it in with his fingertips wonderful stuff and the rest won so the seven fieldsmen have to bowl at least one over each it's man drake's turn bowling to the shrinking captain and he may be hit for four first ball going down towards the boundary line and a boundary so man drake his first delivery has gone for four. Jamin Draker. Well, he's there and thereabout, and that's well played. He's swept that one away, just fine of the fieldsman for four. Good shot. Well, at the stage, Tony Sanjay Mandrake is falling into the bracket of the ones that uh, this is their only effort for the year, apart from a bit of stuff in the nets.
Just the dribbly stuff down leg side to the left hander. They just love it there. That is right in the slot. And once it beat that man close in, it was gone. 77 for five. Oh, that's bowled him. Well, uh, that's uh, disappointing. I suppose he had to go for it, really. That run rate, uh, or did, no, it wasn't. It is pad. Well, it sounded very much like wood. Let's see exactly what it did hit. Whack. It hit the hard part of the glove and then just missed the stumps on the way down. Well, that's out. That's out stumped. He's uh, really taken his life into his own hands then and gone down the wicket to try and smash it away, having had that little bit of uh, luck the ball before. And so that is the end of Bandula. Well, that's not a bad bit of work because of the bounce here. Look how it bounces and Kiramore does very well to keep the eyes focused and rise up with the ball. Off go the bales. Can't get... Well, that one's in the air and uh, this could well, go all the way. No, that's good timing and into the road. Well, that was lovely timing. A few more of those and uh, they may well just get themselves back in. 111 for six as that one's flayed away on the onside again uh, and it will be caught nicely taken right well uh, another wicket has fallen which makes it now 111 for seven and uh caught way down there in the deep the captain is out Agakar is the man in the deep here. Uh, he's a pretty handy little cricketer. Sonal Gavaska talked about him before as being a good prospect. A uh, good safe pair of hands. Yes, uh, watch him go around. Yeah, just uh, takes that no trouble at all and then uh, whoops it back. So uh, that's the end of the day. And, uh,